Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because we're doing my annual bullet journal video. So this is going to be my 2021 bullet journal setup. I do use a digital system with my iPad, time manage, manage my job, everything all into my digital calendar and how I do that. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested to seeing. If you're a complete beginner and you just wanna know like the backbone of what a bullet journal is, the key things you'd want in a bullet journal is have an index and then you have your key. Then you have your future log, your monthly log, your weekly log, and then your dailies. And then you have your collections and your brain dump. Brain dumping is my favorite thing, by the way. I think that's why I really love bullet journaling and why I haven't let that go. My bullet journal is going to be structured a little bit differently, so I'll show you guys what I have set up here. Supplies that I use, let's start off with the notebook. The notebook itself is a, uh, She's a thick one. It's the Moleskin Expanded and it's the 400 page notebook. I got the notebook pages in squared. Another thing I recommend y'all getting or investing in is a Instax Polaroid printer. Hook the printer with your phone via Bluetooth and then you can pick whatever photo that you want. You don't necessarily need a Polaroid camera. You're literally just picking whatever photo that you want from your phone and then printing it out and you'll have a Polaroid. This hasn't changed at all you guys and it's these Tombow markers. I went with more of like warm tones, neutrals, that kind of that kind of color scheme. This is one of my favorite pens to use and you can find this almost anywhere and it's the Pilot G gel pens and then the Muji pens you can find on Amazon but this is a good pen too. I use this in 0.38, super thin um, and then the Pilot G in 0.5 is a little bit thicker but they're both thin pens and they're both really great pens to use. I'm also using stickers. My favorite stickers are from the Happy Planner because they have so many different collections. We also have a couple wellness stickers which I'm using a lot because I feel like we are doing a lot more self-care this year at least I am and so that's like a sticker book that I like to use so that's in that as well all right so flipping over to the first page this is a page that I love to keep in every single one of my journals and I try to keep it in the beginning because this is my like self-love self-worth affirmations all that great stuff in the beginning this is incredibly helpful especially on those tough days and what I do is I draw out a silhouette of a girl and I'll jot down things that I love about myself in here this could be physical attribute things that I love about myself for example if you're a creative person and you love that put that in there something I'm doing different is I'm having affirmations and affirmations is something that I've read a lot in books that are really helpful and they really help build your uh, mental strength so I'm going to pick out a few affirmations that I want to focus on for 2021 and put that in here this is a moment I wanted to also bring into 2021 with the whole self-love thing the second page I have my yearly overview for 2021 and then I have a page for um, just stickies. I have all these random notes that I wanted to bring in. Uh, just different post-its, notes, um, I have my passwords back here. Other sticky notes that I can um, peel and use anywhere else in the notebook. So this is just like a sticky note section. So my next page is a year in Polaroids, make the days count. By having a year in Polaroids, I have them listed out by months. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. September, October, November, December, and every month I'll pick a photo that's my favorite and I will paste it. And by the end of the year, I should have pages filled with images of the of basically 2021. My next page are goals, but I will say when it comes to my goals, I'm not gonna go overboard. I feel like I want to hyper focus on specific goals instead of listing out a million different goals that I end up like I guess getting overwhelmed. So this year or moving into 2021, I will have goals, but I'm not going to have too many where I'm feeling overwhelmed. Next page, I have my future log. So the future log is what it is. It's a future log. So if you have any notes, any key dates, any like random thoughts and ideas that belong in a certain month that isn't necessarily planned out yet um, in your bullet journal, this is where you jot that in. My next page is more of self-care. So my me time, things that really help me mentally and just focus on me and to just like recharge. And then I have this little pocket that I found and I saved and stuck it and inside it has like a wish list of things that I want to get myself. So these are going to be more like rewards. 
Flipping over, we move into our monthly log. The way I drew this out is it's big enough for me to use this almost like a weekly log as well. So not only is this a monthly log, but it's a weekly log where I have Monday through Sunday and then I have a separate box for priority. So these are the things that I really need to get done and then have like all my important dates or whatever in here. Brain dumping is an area where I just need to jot down anything that I have goals. Um, obviously we're in November so I'm definitely thinking about things that I'm thankful for but brain dumping is an area where you can just put everything on your mind. Now if you feel like you've run, it, run out of space, the beauty of a bullet journal is that you can open up the next blank page and start brain dumping there as well. And then my next page, we go on to dailies. I've kind of skipped the weeklies this year, but only because I'm going to incorporate my weekly slash monthly as well. So if I need to look at whatever is going on, I can put that in my dailies by looking at my monthly slash weekly. That's how a bullet journal is. It's your journal. It's whatever you want to write and you want to put down here. Did your bullet journal change in 2020? I'm just curious because I know for me, I definitely went less planning and more writing. And is that something that you did or did you guys still continue to use your bullet journal like a functional planning system like you did before? I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to continue bullet journaling for 2021. But other than that, you guys, I will see you guys next time.